Hello, Jack Isaac, Your Politics, and today we'll be talking about Tory leadership hopefuls, Boris Johnson and Jacob Rees-Mogg, or as I'm calling it, Bojo v Mogg, Dawn of Desperate. Are these the heroes we deserve, or the heroes we need? Well, neither really. If these are the heroes of modern Britain, then we're all fu- So as the malfunctioning Maybot stumbles on with no clear vision of Brexit without the respect of her party and the laughing stock of the EU, her future is as ever in question. And who's waiting in the wings? The ever charmingly hateful bigot Jacob Rees-Mogg and the lovingly incompetent disaster mop Boris Johnson. Is that it? Is that the state the Tory party's in? Talk about scraping the barrel. Now, normally we'd throw a healthy pinch of salt on this and it'd shrivel away like a bunch of bubbling slugs. But in a political climate where a pussy grabber is the leader of the free world, really, anything could happen. So, Reese Mogg. Clever guy, you might say. Straight talking, you might say. A gentleman, you might say. Mmm, no. Jacob Reese Mogg not only spreads hate, but he also doesn't appear to be in the right time period. Like a third-rate Doctor Who who thinks the Daleks are a pretty good bunch of fellows, actually. Or ladies, I guess. Why don't we see more female Daleks? Rhys Mogg is against homosexuality. He loves dogs ripping foxes apart for a laugh. Votes for every military intervention put in front of him, but thinks our foreign aid budget is too high. He voted to make young people who aspire for an education poorer by raising tuition fees. He also voted to cut subsidies for renewable energies, when climate change is one of the biggest things threatening our planet right now. Whilst being interviewed on Good Morning Britain, he said that abortion is wrong, even if a woman is raped. In an interview with Owen Jones when talking about men showing emotion, he said that he's not in favour of this new age drippiness. He went on to say that he hasn't cried in his adult life. Jacob, you've clearly got some deep-rooted psychological issues there. Come on, there's people that can help you. What's that? Mental health services have been cut. And... You're in favour of this? Not only are his views bigoted and out of touch, they're actually dangerous. The biggest killer of young males is suicide, due in no small part to the taboo surrounding young men talking about their thoughts and feelings and seeking help. So when you have Rhys Mogg, a man that could be the most powerful individual in Britain, championing this 1945 stiff upper lip attitude to emotion, it actually puts people at risk. Young Activate members, if you need help, I'm here. Rhys Mogg, back in your TARDIS, the 1940s are calling. What about Boris Johnson, a Tory scarecrow? The man that was sacked for lying, and then proceeded to get more of his lies printed on the Brexit bus. He lied to all of us. And then even after this, he writes a column in The Telegraph, repeating that debunked lie that £350 million could go to the NHS after Brexit. He's not even trusted in his own party and the bar is pretty low there. To be fair, there's been so much Tory infighting lately, I'd be surprised if there's any trust left in that party. And on top of this, he's a laughing stock abroad, particularly in Europe. Oh right, yeah, and he's on the Brexit team. And he told EU leaders to go whistle. We'll definitely get a good Brexit deal. And this is the Foreign Secretary, the man tasked with maintaining good relations abroad. Now this might all seem like fun and games, Another delightfully amusing political nightmare, but it's not. While the Tories fight amongst themselves, and increasingly bizarre caricatures line up to replace Theresa May, we all suffer. The country is heading for a Brexit that the government is still clueless about. Wages and living standards are falling. We could really use a strong and stable government right now. So before I get carried away, I'm going to end it here. Thanks for watching, and I want to hear from you. What do you think about the state of the Tory party? What's your opinion on Jacob Rees-Mogg and Boris Johnson? If you enjoyed this rant, hit that like, smash that subscribe and leave your comments below. Make your voice heard. Until next time, stay safe and stay engaged.